Hi, this is Mike from BandLab, and in this video, we're going to look at how you can use timing, dynamics, and processing to make your tracks funkier in BandLab. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description. And if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. Here I'm starting out with the sketch I made earlier. If you're looking for a guide to starting your own track from scratch, check out our playlist of video tutorials. The sketch consists of a drum beat, a chord progression, and a bass line. Let's take a listen. All the parts work together musically, but the programming is rigid and gives the music a plotting feel that means the composition doesn't reach its full potential. Let's look at some ways we can add a touch of funk to the sketch to make it sound more professional and feel more danceable. The first technique I'm going to use is to apply some swing to the drums. Here we can see that the drum part is quantized to 16th notes. This makes it sound tight but robotic. While this might be rhythmically appropriate for a techno track or something intended to sound more machine-like, I feel like these beats would work better with some 16th note swing. This involves adjusting the timing of everything on an even numbered 16th note slightly. I hold shift and select the closed hats on even numbered 16th notes. I then turn BandLab's snap to grid function off and move the notes to the right slightly. This means they'll play slightly later, giving the rhythm an infectious push-pull tension that makes it feel more danceable. While I'm editing the hi-hats, I turn down the velocity of the notes on even-numbered sixteenths to 64. This makes them quieter, and gives the rhythm a more dynamic feel that sounds more like a human drummer than a drum machine. Next, I'm going to focus on the chords. You'll notice that the chords all start on the first beat of their respective bar. The second technique I'm going to use to make this track feel funkier is to move the second and fourth chords to the left so they start at the final eighth note of the preceding bar. I feel this edit makes the chord progression more interesting without actually changing it musically. The third technique I'm going to use is applying some modulation processing to the chords. Modulation effects change how the parts sound over time, and I'm hoping to add some movement to the chords that interact satisfyingly with the drum beat. I open the effects panel and add a modulation stereo tremolo effect. By default, this effect is very strong and quite fast. I want a more chilled out feel, so I set the speed to 67% and the depth to 48%. I like how the tremolo effects volume modulation gives the sound a more dynamic feel, but I'd like some textural movement as well. I add a modulation, little rock phaser effect next. This effect is very fast, so I take the speed parameter down to 0.6. I feel this phasing effect adds a pleasing new dimension to the sound that works well in conjunction with the drum beat. Now I'm going to focus on the bass line. As you can see, this bass line is extremely straightforward and simply plays quarter notes following the root note of the chords. My final technique to funk things up is to apply some syncopation to the bass line. Put simply, syncopation means changing the rhythmic flow of the track by placing notes where the beat isn't accented. In this example, I'm going to place bass notes on the 8th and 16th notes, while sticking to the root note of the chords. This sounds much funkier, and I can funk things up even more by occasionally positioning notes away from the root. Here, I've used an octave, a fifth, a minor seventh, and a major second, to make things sound more interesting.
Let's compare the original version of the sketch with the edited version. I feel the new version has a more natural sounding flow, feels funkier and more danceable, and is also more texturally interesting. Remember, you can fork this project to make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!